Yes, uh, good afternoon guys, once again, sorry for the technical issue and thank you for your patience. So let's start again, I hope I'm audible now. Hmm. Okay, good. So we were discussing the COP28, okay. So I've said that we'll make a separate video for COP28 because it needs to be discussed in a very detailed manner. Okay, so for now, we'll discuss that it was held from 30th to 12th of December in UAE and the progress in new collective quantified goal on climate finance. They focused more on finance and a separate climate finance fund was adapted and the affordable finance to be made available by MDBs for climate action. And this line particularly you need to be focused on that for the developed countries, the target year to eliminate the carbon footprint is 2050. So for developed countries, there can be a one mark question also in this one line that it is for developing countries, developed countries or underdeveloped countries, poor countries, okay, 2050 is the tar target. For developed countries to eliminate the carbon footprint. Now next is cyclone. So, so particularly cyclone which one is given by name is given by Myanmar okay. This is also an important question. This was in Bay of Bengal and this was in news particularly because it came at an unusual time. This is not the time that these type of storms we will able to see in Bay of Bengal but this came at a unusual time and what is unusual about this is that there was high intensity cyclones with a high packet speed bringing up heavy widespread rain and are not common at this time of the year therefore this particular storm becomes important and the name is given by Myanmar which denotes fortitude and resilience it is the meaning of the name and this is the sixth cyclone developed in the Indian Ocean this year and fourth to form in Bay of Bengal. This line is also particularly important. For this year, it is the which number of cyclone and which, and which number in Bay of Bengal particularly, okay? Yes, clear? Okay. Next news is about All India Institute of Ayurveda initiates a two day training program on latent tuberculosis infection. So, what is LTI first? So, LTI is a kind of TB in which there is no symptom. The patient is perfectly fine. If we look at the patient, there is no symptoms of tuberculosis. So, what we call such type of TB? It is latent tuberculosis infection. All India Institute of Ayurveda that is AIIA has initiated a comprehensive training and orientation program dedicated to addressing latent tuberculosis infection in the country. So one more question, the focus of the, this Ayurveda Institute is on which type of TB that is latent, in, latent tuberculosis infection and not only in India but large population in world is suffering from this type of tuberculosis. So there can be a st second statement type question there can be a question form in such a way from this particular news only first they can give you statement that what is uh, latent in latent tuberculosis infection the patients show symptoms similar to normal TB this can be the first statement second statement they can give in the same question that the target of India to eliminate tuberculosis is by 2030 okay and third statement they can give is what they can give that this L LTI is present only in India and identify the correct statement. Such questions are given in RBI phase 1 exams specifically. Okay? So in this TB, bacteria remain in dormant state in the body and to prevent this it is necessary to get various blood tests or TST done and if any test is positive then get X-ray done. X-ray is important if tested positive. And there can be a fourth statement also in the same question that there is no way to identify the LTI. This is very important statement 
of the PIB because many questions can be formed from this particular news. Next, the dream of adding 30 trillion US dollar to the economy in under 30 years. So it is a target of the government and in this two things you need to focus on is the what is the 5G thrust and particularly on which profession they focused. They focus on chartered accountant because they form a large part of Bahrain with over 450 plus members. He said that chartered accountants are India's ambassador across the world because they have very large population in other countries, particularly in Bahrain. Okay, and what is the 5G thrust? That to, in order to achieve this target, there should be the focus on 5G thrust, which means that these 5Gs should be present only then we can able only then will be able to achieve the target first is growth second is good governance third is grit grit is what to show a passion uh, to show and uh, work towards a particular achievement or particular target in such a way that it looks impossible but we make it possible with our hard work so third is grit fourth is genuine trust and fifth is green technologies so these are the five g's that are prerequisite to achieve this particular target of 30 trillion dollars in 30 years economy. Now India's focus on infrastructure empowering the economy. See, in such conferences, the thing that you should focus on is that what is the theme about what that particular conference is and where it took place. And fourth point is that Government is focusing on which type of sector, whether, whether they are focusing on renewable energy, green energy or aquaculture, where is the focus of government because wherever is government focusing, question will come from that area particularly maximum, okay. Any doubts till now? Okay, next is this. So, this is the third India's third edition is important. Third India Debt Capital Market Summit onwards and upwards. So, in this summit, basically, India Indian government said that the India's bond market is doing so well in the country, so well even outside the country. Okay, so they praised the market of the country. It was held in Mumbai. It will showcase the emerging growth pillars of the Indian economy and the Indian bond market's contribution in the growth. So they basically focus on the bond markets of the country and how they contributed for the growth of the country. India, the key points are India's stock market is hitting 4 trillion mark for the first time. Very important statement. Question come from key points also of these type of conferences or summits, okay? So do pay attention. India is the fifth largest economy in the world and fastest growing economy at 7.6 this quarter. And India will add 30 trillion dollar to our 3.7 trillion trillion by 2047. So by what year India will add 30 trillion dollar by 2047? The target year is very important. I've already told you in every news. India has been able to increase export of goods and services almost 55% from 500 billion that was in 2021 to 776 billion last year, okay? So there is an increase in exports and goods by almost 55%. 30th contract for defense innovation. So innovation for defense excellence that is IDEX is the flagship initiative of the Department of Defense Production that has reached a milestone. So this particular department signed the 300th uh, contract and they will make a gallium nitride semiconductor. Okay, so what is so special about this gallium nitride? Nitride is that it, it works even at a very high temperature. That is the speciality of GN and this gallium nitride is very cheap in cost if we compare to the silicon semiconductors okay so the cost of production of this type of semiconductor is less than the silicon one 
and second speciality that it has is that it can work even on a very high temperature so this proposal aims to design develop and manufacture gallium nitride components for defense so they are using this technology in defense sector and this will also contribute to the indigenous weapon for the defense of our country that's why they are focusing so much on this gallium sorry gallium nitride technology idx framework was launched by the pm in 2018 when it was launched in 2018 this is the background of this department with the objective to provide a co creation and co development in the defense sector engage startups and develop defense and aerospace setup in the country so it is the beginning so they are basically focusing to use such technologies to make indigenous weapons for the country and the speciality i have already told you it is it is more cheap in cost if we compare to the silicon semiconductor and what's that it is working at a very high temperature also tele medicine led afmc at pune so there is an in, in, integrated cell integrated department that government launched at pune for tele under the tele medicine in uh, tele medicine scheme what is this tele mental health assistance and networking across states so tele medicine initiative was launched in october 2022 the cell will serve as a central psychological helpline it is available in 20 languages okay in 33 states and uts with 51 active cells so in these three statements that it is available in 20 languages is the important one where it has been uh, inaugurated in pune it is in the tele medicine it is an integrated cell it will it is a integrated helpline which will work for telemenus and it is available in 20 languages okay any doubt till now i hope you are getting all the news perfectly You're listening now. All good. See what is happening in December PIB specifically. I want to clarify that there are so many news because every ministry revising, reviewing their schemes for the entire year. So on each day, the PIB news is around twenty-five to. 30. and then we have to find out the important news for you and then we segregate so it takes time for the month of december okay so do not panic there is no such news that you will miss it can take a little more time due to because there are so many news and some news are very very important because of the upcoming exams so please uh, have patience and do not panic if pib is little delayed it is because we are working for you only okay पूरा होएगा पी आई बी ऐसा नहीं है दिसंबर से पहले दिसंबर का पी आई बी पूरा फिनिश हो जाएगा ओके जी एस टी रेवेन्यू कलेक्शन फॉर नवम्बर सी सच न्यूज़ इफ योर एग्जाम इज नियर इट इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इफ नॉट टू नॉट पे अटेंशन ओके तो इन जस्ट इन अ समरी द कलेक्शन इज वन सिक्स सेवन नाइन टू नाइन लैख ओके एंड द ग्रोथ रेट इज़ फिफ्टीन परसेंट ईयर ऑन ईयर बेसिस दिस इज़ फॉर द सिक्स टाइम दिस इज इम्पॉर्टेंट द टाइम because in one of the exam it was asked that number for which the gst had crossed this much limit 1.60 so it is the sixth time that it is crossing 1.60 lakh crore for this financial year and gst collection is higher by 11.9% if we compare and cgst is 30 1420 sgst is 38 igst is 87009 and this gst is the uh, normal gst okay without considering the final settlement revenue from domestic transactions are 20% higher this statement is important delhi customs 
preventive registers case of illegal import of foreign cigarettes worth see in such news 55 lakh rupees type amount is not important what is important that in such news the department uh, got a news that is illegal trading illegal selling of cigarettes especially of the brand davidoff dunhill and mon so these are the brands which are not so cheap they are not cheap brand but they were selling openly in the market in indian market they are, uh, the department have noticed that now why it is illegal to sell these brands because they were not following the guidelines of the indian government for the pictorial presentation of a person the recovered foreign origin cigarettes do not have a mandatory pictorial health warning so as per the guidelines of the government there is a percentage of the entire packet which is to be covered by the pictorial warning that consuming cigarette is not good for health so there is a bad picture which will make people feel bad about that what will happen to them if they continue or if they continue smoking and such kind of activity so it is necessary and these brands were not following these guidelines and they were selling openly in the market that's why they have recovered the foreign origin cigarettes of 55 lakh okay clear till now so if you ask me to make a question on this particular news i will make that recently the government recovered foreign origin cigarettes worth rupees 55 lakh and i will give the reason in the options that why government seized or why the selling of these cigarettes were illegal so the reason is that there was no pictorial warning such kind of new questions can be made from this particular area and if you want to learn more the case has been filed under section 104 of custom acts 1960 next news world aids day event in guwahati place is important theme is let communities lead so india has had been fighting with the disease and the crucial role that the common citizen played throughout as communities paved the way from the terror to discipline and resilience it is currently phase 5 going on of the national aids which phase is going on of the national aids program is very important and what is the outlay 15471 crore so hiv and aids prevention and control act 2017 is a game changer that strengthened human rights for hiv patient and was a crucial step towards ending so what is important is that the objective is to achieve the goal of ending aids by 2030 this is the target year of the government as i've told you Target year is very important, or especially of the disease like Kala Azar, TB, and uh, sickle cell anemia and AIDS. This is the new one which had which we see in news. Okay, earlier we we, we were they were continuously the target years of TB, uh, Kala Azar, and all that. But for the AIDS, we hardly see AIDS target year in news. So it is very important and. Sankalak fifth edition, the flagship report providing data-driven, comprehensive progress across the world. So, if we talk about the Sankalak, it is the fifth edition which is going on phase uh, phase five. What is this? It is a data-driven program in which the data of HIV or AIDS patient is centralized at one place. So, it is a centralized data of the government which we call Sankalak. Okay. codex elementarius commission praises india's standards on millets so cac particularly praised that india's standard for millet is very high if we compare to the other countries why and we should learn from india by for categorizing the millets india categorized the millets in 15 types specifying the eight quality parameters now this particular question is important in the sense that what are the eight parameters in which the indian government specify the pellets quality codex currently currently has standards for sorghum and pearl millet okay sirf ye do hi millets hain jinke liye abhi standards hai codex ke paas but india put forward a proposal for the development of global standards for millets so india wants global standards for these millets okay and at present 
there is a standard for only sorghum and per millet. Now, what are the parameters of India? See, these are the parameters. Maximum limit for moisture content. How much moisture it can contain in the grains. Uric acid content is what. Extraneous matter is what. Other edible grains. Defects koi na ho. Revealed grains na ho. Immature grains na ho. Shriveled grains na ho. So, these are the eight parameters that you have to learn. Because India is focusing so much on millet at national and international level. level. And also this news if we talk about India has been praised particularly for maintaining the standards for millets. Although CAC is maintaining standards for only two millets that is sorghum and pearl millet. So what are the standards? These eight standards you have to keep it in your mind. And this was the 60th anniversary of Codex Elementarius Commission and India has been a member of CAC. So there can be a statement based question on this particular news also because they can ask that whether India is a member of CAC or not. If yes, then for uh, in which year India became member in 1964. Okay. Yes, it is illegal not to have pictorial warning on the cigarette packets as per the government standards. Okay. I don't remember the particular percentage but if you go on the guidelines for the secret packets there is a particular percentage I think 80% or 60% approximately that secret packet should cover this much area with a pictorial warning and without that warning it is illegal to sell secrets okay yes clear Okay. Next is SBM Govardhan Biogas Conference. So these are the like Govardhan and all which government is reviewing and with every review of such scheme, every detail of the static part of the scheme becomes important and you have to revise that particular scheme from the scratch. Okay. Conference was organized to give a boost to CBG sector, accelerate waste to wealth. It was conducted by Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs in New Delhi. So what is important in this news that 15,000 TPDs will be set up biogas plants by 2026. 15,000 by 2026 biogas plants should be set up in the country. This is the target of the government under the Govardhan scheme. Okay. And what is the target for, uh, what is the objective of SBM phase 2? That is to make India garbage free. Okay, and not just open defecation free. Okay, no need to say thank you Sujay, it's my duty. Dynamic Groundwater Resource Assessment report for the country for the year 2020 released by Union Minister of for Jal Shakti see this news is particularly important because various question can be asked that uh, what is the report released by Ministry of Jal Shakti the assessment was carried out jointly by Central Water Board and states in you okay it is not the data is not assessed by the states alone or this water authority alone. So Central Water Board along with states and units gather the data jointly and total annual growth water recharge for the country is 449.08 cubic billion cubic meters. So there is an increase of 11.48 billion cubic meters. This particular data is important. If you cannot remember the entire cubic meters that is 449.08 just remember that there is increase of 11.48 because sometimes there is no question on the facts but there is a question on the increase or decrease whether it increased or decreased when the data is too difficult. 
Now, what are the important key points? Assessment indicates increase in groundwater recharge. So, there is increase in groundwater recharge. Second is that analysis indicates improvement in groundwater conditions in two to six assessment units. So, out of the total assessment units in two twenty six units, there is increase or there is improvement in groundwater recharge. Total annual ground growth, uh, total annual groundwater recharge for entire country is four four nine point eight billion cubic. That I've already told you. Stage of groundwater extraction at 59.23 so what is the stage of groundwater extraction it is 59.23 this particular thing is important out of the total 4793 units categorized as safe so they will not ask the particular units because such data are not asked but everything else that increase or decreases there whether the assessment indicates that groundwater is not recharging or there is no improvement in recharge of groundwater questions can come from such type of data by which uh, which ministry it has been released okay and by which authority the data has been gathered okay yes next please Conference on Energy Transition in India in Gandhinagar. So inaugurated by inaugurated by Minister of Power and New and Renewable Energy Shri R K Singh. So this particular energy conference was held in Gandhinagar, Gujarat. The place is important if we talk about the phase one, and the main objective is to move forward with an ambitious vision of promoting clean energy. India is committed to reducing the emission intensity of GDP by 45 percent by 2030 compared to 2005 levels. So India is committed to reduce the emission. Now they can ask the question, three type of question in that statement. First, where di where this conference was held. Second, this particular statement is very important because they can ask the percentage of GDP that India is targeting to reduce if we talk about the carbon emission. So India is trying to reduce the emissions by 45 percent of GDP by which year? By 2030. This is the statement that you need to remember. See, if we talk about PIB, not all the statements are important. But if I'll write just this statement under one line, you'll not able to retain. Why? Because for retaining a news, you need to know the story behind it. Ki aisa ho raha hai to kyu ho raha hai. Without that story, you cannot retain. So PIB sometimes can look lengthy, but you do not need to remember every data in that particular PDF. Okay. All the other statements are given just made to make sure that you know very well what is the background of the news, what government is focusing on, and why this particular news you have to memorize. Clear? Uh, approx value percentage for what Nitish? Yes, can we use approx value? Person? Yes, for groundwater extraction. Yes, see, they will focus more on whether you know the area, whether you know whether there is a decrease or increase in the groundwater extraction or not. If there is an increase, then what are the sources for the increase? Okay, that will be asked in means. Ki kya reasons hai increase ke groundwater recharge mein? Or jaise ki rainfall hai, jo bhot zyada tha, to us wajay se bhi groundwater recharge ka ek main source ban gaya tha. So that's why. And yes, you can remember the approximate percentage until unless some particular news is so important, like ranking ho gaya. Ranking mein aap approximate data nahi yaad kar sakte. Okay? If there is something that is important. Yaha pe approximation chal sakte. 
Next news is Saras Food Festival at New Delhi. Now what this food festival focused to about 150 women entrepreneurs and members of the self-help group across the country participating with more than 30 stalls and festival has been organized by Ministry of Rural Development. So one question is that 150 women entrepreneurs were there with 30 stalls. Stalls are not important but how many women entrepreneurs? 30, about, th about 150 women entrepreneurs with 30 stalls and and above all these above all the question the most important question in this news is that by which ministry the saras food festival is organized it is organized by ministry of rural development now distribution of footballs under fos in katak odisha see if we talk about this particular news the government is focusing on that children should focus more on football and they were giving free footballs in Katak Odisha. So to implement the 4FS program that is of FIFA in contributing more than 11 lakh footballs for distribution in various schools. The footballs will be distributed based on the enrollment in upper primary to higher secondary level. This particular statement can be important because it can be asked that there is the F, uh, F4S program by FIFA in India and this was held in Katak Odisha and this many footballs were distributed but based on what criteria they distributed the footballs on the basis of upper primary to higher secondary level having playgrounds this is the criteria upper primary to higher having playgrounds and in the first phase this is also important a total of 16 districts from five states what are the five states Maharashtra, Kerala Odisha, Goa and UP, this you have to remember, okay? have been selected for the distribution. And Jawahar Navodhya Vidyalaya is the nodal organization. So, what is the nodal organization? Jawahar Navodhya, Jawahar Navodhya Vidyalaya is the nodal organization. The distribution of football is based on the criteria from upper middle to higher secondary education school with playground. This is the criteria. Okay? And what, what are the five states? Odisha, Goa, UP, Kerala and Maharashtra. In the first phase, these five states got selected. Any doubt till now? Thirty stalls of food. Food festival is there, so stalls were of food only. This food festival takes place every year. Yes, clear. Let's quickly move on to the next. Time to define biovision for Bharat. Dr. Jitendra Singh said that the Apex Autonomous Society, that is, BRIC Biotechnology Research and Innovation, Indian bioeconomy recorded 13 times in the last 10 years. Such statements are important. How many times increase? 13 times increase. The Department of Biotechnology, Ministry of Science and Technology is functioning as the nodal agency for promotion of biotechnology in the country. Dr. Jitendra Singh today launched Zero Waste Life on Campus program on the first meeting. And the Zero Waste Life Campus program is aimed at achieving sustainability through application and adoption of knowledge, technology and promotion of management models focused on co-responsibility so there can be a question on uh, what and which campaign was launched by dr jitendra singh so it is zero waste life on campus so in campus particularly there should be zero waste and they were focusing more on biotechnology and the brick is what is the full form of brick biotechnology research and innovation council okay and the program is aligned with the mission life so this program is created on the basis of Mission Life that was introduced by our Honorable Prime Minister. Okay. So Mission Life that is Lifestyle for Environment is very important program if we look at the focus area of the government. There can be a descriptive question in phase 2 for RBI. INS Kadmat at Yokosuka, Japan. 
entered Yokosuka for an operation turn around. This IRS Kadmar, it entered that is, it is aimed at further blustering maritime cooperation between India and Japan. So this basically is a uh, kind of exercise in which it, there is the focus area is on the building up the relationship between India and Japan. If we look at the maritime security, so the INS Kadmar, which is the anti-submarine warfare covert entered the Yokosuka, Japan. Ministry of Education celebrates International Day of Persons with Disabilities with a specially prepared quiz. Now what is this quiz? Now every year on 3rd December, the world commemorates the International Day of Persons with Disabilities to spread awareness and mobile support for the rights and well-being of people with disability and department. Department is important. There can be question on department. So Department of Education and Literacy, Ministry of Education along with NCRT celebrating this International Day of Person with Disability. There can be a question on date also that on which date this particular day is celebrated that is on 3rd of December. And the theme is, theme is also important, United in Action to Rescue and Achieve the sustainable development goals for with and by person with disability so focus area is on how to achieve the sustainable goals for the country for the world and for the climate with the contribution of person with disabilities okay yes no playground no football because Yes, Chief, uh, PDF is already uploaded in 2024 course, okay, under PIB. You will get all the PDFs of the courses, okay. Nano science. Nanoscience along with bioeconomy will contribute immensely in India's march towards $5 trillion economy. So Dr. Jitendra Singh addressed the faculty and students of the India's very first exclusive Nanoscience Institute, the Institute of Nanoscience and Technology at Mohali, Chandigarh, and the institute aims is to carry out research in diverse and rapidly growing areas of nanoscience. So their motto is basically knowledge of nanoscience for the nation. So they are trying to use the nanoscience in every field of the contribution where growth is possible using nanotechnology in green initiatives and other, uh, other targets of the government. So which institute is focusing? That is Institute of Nanoscience. This is the particular question towards which target of the government for making the economy of $5 trillion value. India re-elected to International Maritime Organization with highest vote tally. This is the important news because it is the second time that India is re-elected for this post and the largest interest in international seaborne trade. These are the, excuse me, uh, this is the criteria under which India is re-elected along with Australia, Brazil, Canada, France, Germany, Netherlands, Spain, Sweden and UAE. These countries you have to remember because India is selected. Category is important. Under which category of 10 states? This largest interest in international seaborne trade. So they are basically focusing on the marine system, marine uh, security of the country and of the neighboring countries because the sea route is very important if we look at future. It is the cheapest route for the global business if for any country. So if there is no sea route, it is very difficult for the economy to survive and they have to uh, follow the rules and regulations of the countries who have the more power over the sea route area. So the IMO is the leading authority that regulates the maritime industry which supports global trade, transportation and all marine operations. The council is the executive organ of IMO and is responsible under the assembly for supervising the work of organization. Okay, so it will supervise the work of the organization also and they have a special interest in the maritime along with the 10 countries. You have to remember the name of the 10 countries 
and the category under which India is re-elected and it is re-elected for the second time. Okay. Yes, any doubt till now? Ministry of Tourism launches na nation, National Best Tourism Village and National Best Rural Homestays Competition. So, which ministry? So, it is the Ministry of Tourism and what is the objective that national strategies and collaboration with Indian Institute of Tourism and Travel Management, such kind of competitions, the only aim is to boost the tourism in that particular area if we talk about the villages. So the, it is that's why it is organized by Ministry of Tourism. Okay, uh, nothing is there in this news. You just have to remember the competition. The aim of the competition that is to develop a healthy competitiveness among villages and rural homestays for rural tourism. And the competition will not only boost tourism in lesser explored region but also create a ripple effect. The competition was launched on World Tourism Day. The only thing that you have to remember in this particular is news is that when World Tourism Day is celebrated, it is on 27th of September 2023. Okay. And competition is organized by which ministry? 66, gray, uh, 66 Indian airports are operating on 100% green energy. So in India, if we talk about how many airports are working under the green energy that is 100% so 56 airports now these airports like delhi mumbai hyderabad bangalore have achieved the level 4 plus this level is important there can be a question like these airports have achieved which level they can give option like level 4 level 3 plus okay that's kind and a higher airport international council accreditation and have become the carbon new Ministry of Civil Aviation has taken initiative for working towards carbon neutrality and achieve net zero carbon emission. So, there are 66 airports first thing under which level uh, these airports achieve which level? Level 4 plus. This you have to remember. Grants to artists. Ministry of Culture implements a financial grant scheme by the name of Financial Assistance for Promotion of Guru Sikhya Parampara Repertory Grant across the country. Okay, under the scheme, financial assistance, very important question, grant to artists. Under the scheme, what is the, what is the name? Financial Assistance for Promotion of Guru, uh, Guru Shishya Parampara Repertory Grant. See if I will answer your question in few minutes. Under this scheme, financial assistance is provided a dramatic theater group, music assemblies, and music as theater, dance. These are the activities that they are conducting under this particular scheme. And the financial aid that will be provided is of 15,000 per month. And for each shishya, that is 2,000 to 10,000 per month. That is for Guru. Two questions, important question for Guru, the assistance is of 15,000 per month and for Shishya from 2,000 to 10,000 per month, depending upon the age of the artist, very important. Age is the criteria. The eligibility criteria for grants includes the following. The group ensembles seeking financial assistance under this scheme must have a 
repertoire of adequate number of quality and should have given performance on all india basis so they should have a record or history of performing at all india level basis this is the first criteria second is that grantee organizations would be recommended for renewal only when they stage at least two products during the financial year at least two to unhe showcase karna hi hai baki out of this two at least one production must be new production which has not been staged earlier to saal mein do bar to unhe kuch प्रोडक्शन करना ही है जिनमें से कोई एक ऐसा प्रोडक्शन होना चाहिए जो कि न्यू है विच वॉज नॉट परफॉर्म्ड अर्लियर दिस वॉज द सेकेंड क्राइटेरिया थर्ड इज द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ग्रांटेड फाइनेंशियल असिस्टेंस वुड मैंडेटरली ऑर्गेनाइज एटलीस्ट टू कल्चरल एक्टिविटीज दो कल्चरल एक्टिविटीज तो ऑर्गेनाइज करनी है इन द स्कूल ऑफ द नियर विसिनिटी तो फर्स्ट क्राइटेरिया इज दैट दैट दे शुड हैव अ हिस्ट्री ऑफ परफॉर्मिंग एट ऑल इंडिया लेवल बेसिस second is that in out of the two performances in the uh, in, in an year one should be like what one should be stage at uh, with a new production like it should not have been produced earlier or it have not been performed earlier the third is that in, out of the entire in the entire one year at least two performance they have to give in the school which is nearby in the surroundings okay and fourth criteria is that the financial assistance for promotion of guru shishya parampara will be reviewed annually by an expert committee so there can be a question out of uh, which of which of the following is not the criteria for the particular scheme and fifth one is that physical verification would be compulsion for continuation of financial assistance for promotion of guru shishya parampara after every fourth year after every fourth year there will be a review whether they are doing up to the mark and if they are not following all the criteria of this scheme their assistance will be discontinued okay for guru the amount is 15000 per month and for shishya it ranges from 2000 to 10000 depending upon the age and these five criteria they have to follow everything is clear Hmm. So yes um now the question of chief the highest level so chief see when we talk about a particular airport the highest level we can achieve is that the particular airport is running on 100% green energy okay so the highest rating will be that only that is level 4 when a particular airport has achieved 100% green energy what else they can achieve they are running on already carbon neutral technology so there could not be any further level green technology se upar koi level nahi ho sakta if they are already achieved 100% it is just like that you are scoring a uh, highest level in your exam that is 100 out of 100 so usse highest level kya hoga there can be no other level right so level 4 plus is the highest level of green airport in india we talk about particularly in okay clear initiatives to support cultural industries government of india promote protect preserve various forms of folk art and culture so it has set up seven zonal culture okay in such news you have to remember these kind of thing that what are the seven zonal culture center cultural center means the particular center where they are promoting the culture headquartered at 
पटियाला हो नागपुर महाराष्ट्र नागपुर इन महाराष्ट्र उदयपुर इन राजस्थान प्रयागराज इन यूपी कोलकाता इन वेस्ट बंगाल सीमापुर इन नागालैंड एंड तंजावुर इन तमिलनाडु दीज आर दिन जोनल काउंसिल सेंटर्स इट वॉज सेलेक्टेड फॉर दी कल्चरल एक्टिविटीज कल्चरल सेंटर्स एंड द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ कल्चर ऑल्सो ऑर्गेनाइजेज राष्ट्रीय संस्कृति महोत्सव इन वेरियस पार्ट्स ऑफ द कंट्री सिंस टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन मिनिस्ट्री हैज ऑर्गेनाइज फोर्टीन सो दिस विल बी द फिफ्टीन राष्ट्रीय संस्कृति महोत्सव ओके अप टिल नाउ एंड थ्री जोनल लेवल आर एस एम्स एट कोटा पुणे डेली इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री टू सेवन जोनल काउंसिल्स विल बी ऑर्गेनाइज सो बेसिकली दे आर सेंग दैट देर आर सेवन जोनल कल्चरल काउंसिल्स सो वॉट आर द नेम ऑफ दिस सेवन काउंसिल दैट यू हैव टू रिमेंबर एंड अप टिल नाउ हाउ मेनी राष्ट्रीय महोत्सव राष्ट्रीय संस्कृति महोत्सव वर कंडक्टेड फोर्टीन कंडक्ट हो चुके हैं फिफ्टींथ कंडक्ट होने वाले हैं ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री तीन जगह पे जो है राष्ट्रीय संस्कृति महोत्सव कंडक्ट हुआ है दैट इज इन कोटा पुणे एंड कोटा पुणे एंड डेली ओके दिस इज इम्पॉर्टेंट नाउ द ऑफिस ऑफ डेवलपमेंट कमिश्नर दैट इज ऑफ हैंडी क्राफ्ट अंडर द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ टेक्सटाइल इंडिया इम्प्लीमेंट्स द नेशनल हैंडी क्राफ्ट डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम हु इज द अथॉरिटी टू इम्प्लीमेंट दिस प्रोग्राम दैट इज द ऑफिस ऑफ डेवलपमेंट कमिश्नर हैंडी क्राफ्ट अंडर मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ टेक्सटाइल कॉम्प्रीहेंसिव हैंडी क्राफ्ट क्लस्टर डेवलपमेंट स्कीम फॉर डेवलपमेंट विल ऑल्सो बी अंडर दिस डिपार्टमेंट ओके नाउ दीज आर द कम्पोनेंट्स ओके दीज आर द कम्पोनेंट्स फॉर नेशनल हैंडी क्राफ्ट डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम दिस दिस इज इम्पॉर्टेंट बिकॉज many questions were asked in various exams about the components of a particular scheme or a particular news okay like upaj upaj ke bare mein pooch liya tha component features of upaj okay this was an unexpected question if you look at the news because sirf upaj ke bare mein likha tha the features of the portal the features of the website is important for them so ye to seven uh, सोनल कल्चरल सेंटर्स हैं इनका क्या क्या कंपोनेंट्स हैं दैट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट मार्केटिंग सपोर्ट है स्किल डेवलपमेंट भी दे विल प्रोवाइड अंबेडकर हस्तशिल्प डायरेक्ट बेनिफिट ट्रांसफर टू द आर्टिस इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एंड टेक्नोलॉजी सपोर्ट विल बी गिवन एंड आर एन डी विल ऑल्सो बी देयर ओके दीज आर द कम्पोनेंट क्लियर ओके ओनली फ्यू न्यूज आर लेफ्ट विल कंप्लीट द रेस्ट ऑफ द न्यूज इन नेक्स्ट क्लास ओके सो इन नेक्स्ट क्लास विल कवर द पी आई बी फ्रॉम वन टू एट एंड आफ्टर दैट विल टेक द पी आई बी क्लास रेगुलरली ओके बट पी डी एफ विल बी अपलोडेड ऑन टाइम तो अगर क्लास थोड़ा डिले भी हो जाए एटलीस्ट पी डी एफ पढ़ के रखो सो डैट वैन आई विल टेक क्लास आई दो यू कैन आस्क योर डाउट और यू कैन आस्क एनी स्पेसिफिक क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू द पी डी सो विल मीट इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास ऑफ पी आई बी सून ओके आफ्टर टमोरो डे आफ्टर टमोरो इट विल बी कंडक्टेड सो बी रेडी विद योर डाउट्स और एनीथिंग एंड जो बाकी का पी डी एफ है अपटिल नाउ विल बी प्रोवाइडेड टू यू विद इन टू थ्री डेज ओके ओके सो थैंक यू फॉर अटेंडिंग दिस सेशन सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास फॉर पी आई बी एंड कीप रिवाइजिंग सो देर वॉज वन डाउट अबाउट द एम सी क्यूज ऑफ पी आई बी सी एम सी क्यूज ऑफ पी आई बी आई विल प्रोवाइड एट द टाइम ऑफ एग्जामिनेशन लाइक इफ एग्जाम इज इन मे विल स्टार्ट गिविंग द एम सी क्यूज फॉर पी आई बी रिविजन from that particular month like if exam is in may so from january february march april these mcqs will be provided ki maine bola the last four months six months are very important okay so jab exam pass aa jayega tab we'll start giving the mcqs uh, starting from the month which is near okay तो अभी तो सिर्फ न्यूज़ पढ़ लो जितनी इंपॉर्टेंट न्यूज़ लग रही है जो मैंने बताई है उसको रिवाइज करो बार बार सो डैट अ बेस बन जाए आपका नेक्स्ट ईयर एग्जाम के लिए फॉर टारगेटिंग आरबीआई 
नबार्ड और सेबी तो एक बेस बनाना बहुत ज़रूरी होता है स्पेशली फॉर द करंट अफेयर्स क्योंकि जब वो नहीं बनता है तो हम सिर्फ रट्टा मारते हैं करंट अफेयर्स का फिर वहाँ जाके कन्फ्यूजन हो जाती है दैट्स वाई आई गिव यू अ द कम्प्लीट स्टोरी इन पी आई पी ओके तो वो लेंदी नहीं होता उसमें से कुछ पॉइंट्स याद रखने होते हैं मैं भी वन लाइन में दे सकती हूँ बट कोई फ़ायदा नहीं है उसका जब आपको न्यूज़ का बैकग्राउंड ही नहीं पता होगा तो फिर uh, कोई यूज़ नहीं है सो दैट्स वाई सो आई वाइंड अप द सेशन हेयर इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास